Ed Sturton is with me here in the briefing room now. I'm also joined by Ferdevs Robinson, a London-based journalist and former editor with BBC World Service, and in Istanbul by the writer and analyst Gareth Jenkins. And also in the studio in London is a supporter of the Gulen movement, Dr Ismail Sezgin, director of the Centre for Hizmet Studies, which is a London-based non-profit organisation providing research and analysis on the movement. Dr Sezgin, you've met uh, Fethullah Gulen. What's he like? Uh, well, I've met a lot of religious scholars because when I was six years old, I was in a, in a dormitory and I've seen many scholars. I didn't want to meet with him when I was at uni because I thought... There you go, he looks very shiny and good, but if I see him, that will be one of those people. And I went there for curiosity because I was in Pennsylvania as a work and travel visa as a student. And the the only impression left from me then, and I wasn't then in, you know, like part of the moment, is that when he come from the other room after the prayer, we automatically, as Turkish instinct, we stand up, to, me and my friend who, who we were visiting together, and actually... He saw us standing up and he, he stepped back and Winced. make a face, yeah, and, and and put his hand down and, and the others pull us down. But when I didn't know that he didn't want people to make a, you know, a big fuss of him coming of. in, yeah. And I've seen because it made me feel very, very bad to, to give him that give him that pain. And and I, I, I do recognize the reaction. Some people were oh sit down, sit down, but they want you to stand up as well. I've seen that honesty in there. So you think he's a very inquiry. modest man, a very uh, a no, man I, who doesn't I, want to over recognition. My emphasis is in here actually I, when I say I met with thousands of scholars because I have gone through that formal system. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm emphasizing on honesty. Everybody says they don't want respect, that they don't want something, they are not after it. And I, I, I've seen that for me. Dr. Seskin, very briefly, what does, in your view as a, as, a, as a supporter, does the Gulen movement offer that conventional Islam doesn't? Well, actually, he offers a conventional Islam which can be applicable in today. He doesn't say you have to change your way of life. He, he has to say you need to bring ethics in there. Um, and there is a transformation in there. My grandfather never wanted a TV in his house, and my he didn't let my father gone beyond normal five-year education. And my father's generation had the education in the adjacent room. And Gulen said, "Well, actually, you need to open TV channels. You need to be in there. You need to be in here. And you know, like you don't need to be only Imam Hatip graduates. So that is the difference." He said, "You can be a football player. You have to be just aware that kids are looking up to you, and you have to sweat for what you yeah. pay." Ismail Sagan, what's happening to Gulen supporters right now in Turkey, as far as you know? Well, they're keeping their heads down, as they used to be. It's, it's not a safe country, for for expressing even your opinion. I gather you've even had problems here in Britain. Can you tell know me just a little bit about that? It extends, it almost spills the borders. Now, there has been some attacks in the Gulen-affiliated places. There has been targeting, there has been boycott lists. Here uh, in Britain? Yeah, and, and I think this is too early and too, you know, like, if something I have uh, learned as a Gulen follower is that, you know, like, inspired person is, I wouldn't jump into conclusion because we have done it with Ergenekon case. We trusted people. Sorry, and, I, I, th yes. that's, that's a little bit detailed for people. I'm just wondering what examples you have of problems here in Britain right now. Well, actually, there is a website. We, we are gathering this information and, and, and trying to keep a record, and you can see all the information there. But there has been, an, you know, like a targeting of people, affiliated institutions, and verbal abuse and th threatening te text messages. Some of them are police matters already.